Hi, this is Dan Hubbard with Upanor Fire Safety. Today we're going to be talking about domestic water bypasses and how to properly set a pressure reducing valve on the bypass line. Domestic water bypass is important because if your customer wants to install a water softener, you're going to need a way to direct the water to the fire sprinklers in the event of a fire. We use a pressure reducing valve in order to hold the water back so that the water can flow through this line to your water softener and back into the system. In the sprinkler activation, there'll be a large enough pressure drop that this pressure reducing valve will open and let water past it and providing the sprinklers with more water. First, you'll need to open up a single fixture downstream of the pressure reducing valve in order to bleed off excess pressure in the system. Next, what you need to do is you need to isolate your pressure reducing valve. You don't want any water going into the water softener. Right now, all of the water is going through the pressure reducing valve into the system. This gauge downstream of the pressure reducing valve will drop to the set point of the PRV. Every sprinkler plant is different uh, and every system needs a certain pressure to operate correctly. That pressure is located on the details page of your fire sprinkler plans. Once you find out what your set pressure needs to be, adjust the pressure reducing valve until the gauge drops to the set point that the fire sprinkler needs in order to properly operate in the event of a fire. Once you've reached that set pressure point, you can now open up the line to your water softener and water will flow freely through the water softener unless there's a fire sprinkler activation. More information on domestic water bypasses can be found on Upanor's domestic water bypass instruction sheet.